Hey guys, well today I went to go and see Suicide Squad, so here's my review. Check it out. So, the plot. Well, basically the plot revolves around six or five of the most insidious villains from Gotham City are recruited to help stop a global, the global destruction by a villain known as the Sorceress, who, by summoning her brother from another world, is planning to destroy, take over the Earth using a very powerful machine. So several villains, including the Harley Quinn and Hawke and Diablo and I can't remember the other names, they are recruited to come in and stop them. But if they try to escape or revert back to their villainous ways, they've each been implanted with a chip that will destroy. That if they try to run away or try to betray them, they will die. They will all they do is press the button on the touch phone, and you, they will die. Now I was worried throughout the plot would maybe work out that whilst they would stay villains, they would turn too mushy mushy good at the end. But no, they didn't do that. Throughout the film, the plot puts them. The plot actually puts them on a journey. Like I mean. They start off as their psychotic villainous ways and as the plot goes on they get close and they start to they get to know each other including a very nice scene in a little bar where they sort of talk about their misdemeanors so the plot but the plot flowed well and it kept them going and, and the emphasis of the plot them having to use their abilities for good it really worked well it kept the plot going and the plot didn't drag it kept going it just kept going bam 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 first 20 minutes of the film you learn about the villains and their abilities and who they are then the film, then they're recruited, then throughout the rest of the film, just bam, 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 they just, they defeat the bad guys. So the, uh, the plot worked really well, it flowed well, it worked, and um, I think it was, and I think it worked really well. Okay, the three characters that I really enjoyed were Margaret Robbie's Harley Quinn, Jared Leto's Joker, obviously, and Will Smith's Deadshot. I thought they were the three characters that really stood out to me. So um, let's start with Jared Leto's Joker. Even though people say he didn't make a huge of appearances in the movie, he still made enough appearances to become an active character in the story. I mean, from what people had said about him not making enough appearances, I thought maybe they meant only oh, oh, makes one or two. But he still made several to be in part of the story, and Jared Leto plays him very well. He plays him very slick, very sin slightly sort of um, Heath Ledger, sinister, and a touch of, touch of psychotic, psych of Anthony Hopkins style psychotic, but still... He's a great character and he just played him so well. And sort of, he was, the Joker sort of was given, as we all know that from the comic books and TV shows, his attire is normally the big cheesy purple suit, but he's sort of given a bit of a, a retro-ish makeover, he's sort of given a makeover to sort of look a little more, a little more gangsterish, a little more sinister, and I think that worked really well. Margaret Robbie's Harley Quinn. Oh my fucking God. She was fucking, they don't call her Harley Quinn for nothing, she was a fucking psycho. Margaret Robbie played her so well. She was just so fucking sinister, so active, and she was so sarcastic. She was seductive and sneaky with a touch of malice, but she just played her so well. Like Margaret Robbie played her so well. She was this strong, like fuck, like forget about Wonder Woman. She's not a character. She's not a superwoman. She's not a strong woman. Harley Quinn is. She takes no shit. She just went in there and battered the shit of anything that got in her way. So Harley Quinn was just brilliant. Will Smith's Deadshot. I didn't even know Will Smith was in the film. But out of him, but I think him and Harley Quinn were the two of the squad that stood out. Because because Deadshot is trying to be a father and trying to keep up his job of being an assassin. So he's conflicted at times about like when he was caught and he was gonna shoot Batman, his little girl begged him not to, so he's he decided not to, and that led to his arrest. But all he wants to do throughout the film is get back to his daughter. He still wants to go into the field, kill people, but he still wants to be a father. So that showed a human aspect to the character. And I, and I suppose it's important, like whilst they are vill villains are villains, you still need to show a human aspect to them. So I think um, that showed very well. Other highlights included the one who played the woman who was the head of in Amanda, the head of intelligence, and the army general. They were two other very important characters. The rest of the squad, they were alright, but Harley Quinn and Deadshot were the two that stuck out to me. And originally I thought, oh, she's actually going to run off with him, but it, that didn't happen. But no, um, Harley Quinn and um, Deadshot were the two of the squad, I think, that were the best. Okay, what else I think was good about the film? I think the cinematography was very good, especially during the fight scenes. It was just shot so well, like different angles. One minute, you got close to Harley Quinn, next minute shot. It was just fun. The cinematography during the fight scenes was worked out so well. Like, you've got shots of... Of each character fighting, of each character fighting the villains in their own individual style. Harley Quinn going psycho with her mallet and her gun. Deadshot going bang, bang, bang. The killer just going, Rrr! and all this, there was like the cinematography sort of made sure that you saw each character in their element. So 
cinematography I think worked very well. So thanks for checking out my review guys and um, stay tuned for my review of the film Lights Out. Bye!